What's going on guys, it's Blitz here, back with another video, and today we're going to talk about Destiny's Rise of Iron DLC. Now, a lot of people have said that this DLC could be fake, a lot of people are saying that it is true, and people are making that assumption based on the picture, based on the wolves in the picture, and also the hammer, and just how it looks, and I just want to go over what I think about it, what I see in it. And I haven't really got into the details and dug any information about this DLC, but I just want to share my opinion on it right now. So we're going to start off with why this could be fake. Now a lot of people were saying the wolves in the picture is a dead giveaway because they kind of just stand out and they look like they don't belong there. And they're also saying like there aren't that really... There aren't really that many animals in Destiny, because the only thing you really see are birds flying around. So since there aren't really many animals in Destiny, why are the wolves even there? But at the same time, the wolves go back into the lore of Destiny, which I'm going to upload a video later, hopefully, talking about the lore of the Battle of Six Fronts and how they protected the last city. So I think that's pretty much it on why it could be fake. Like I said, I didn't really get into the details of if this could be real or not. So I only saw those few opinions about the wolves and about how it's not confirmed yet. Now to talk about how there really isn't much to say that it's true besides the fact that it just looks really good and it looks like it could be a poster that Bungie could have made. Now to get into the details of the picture, you can see it's Lord Saladin holding a giant flaming hammer at the hole that was the entrance into the last city where they defended it. Now they were saying how they can bring in the hammer into the game as a new heavy weapon and it shouldn't be that hard since they just brought in the Taken Sword in the April update. So all you gotta do is like change a few things, make it look like a hammer and also change the animation of the swing. which would be pretty cool. There has been a lot of talk about there might be a raid for this DLC, which hopefully there is and there should be, but they were saying how it, it might be on Earth, which would be really great because Earth has yet to see a raid in it. And they're also saying about the lore and the story mode of the game, how they wanted to see either us, the Guardians, protecting the last city or it's some kind of conflict between Lord Saladin and like Shax or someone. And that will be pretty interesting to see some betrayal inside the Vanguard. And I want to get into the details of the lore of Destiny with Shax and Lord Saladin in the Battle of Six Fronts, but I'm going to say that for another video that I'm planning on uploading later, so I'll be able to get in-depth information about the lore, and I'll be able to have all my facts, and I'll just lay it out for y'all in that video. But for one thing I want to point out is that someone mentioned that Zer serves the Nine, and a little thing about Lord Saladin and his group the the iron lords there is nine of them the iron lords are the nine so that's i don't really know how i feel about that but i will get all i'll get into those details in the next video when i explain the lore but thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy please leave a like and if you want to see any more of my content go ahead and hit the subscribe button thank you guys and i'll see y'all in the next video Dropping bass like a motherfucking atom bomb.